Do I need to say more? <laughs> Let's take a look at what's in here. I'm Nicole from the Nicole Knits Knows Knitting YouTube channel. I'm going to unbox and review three learn to knit beginner knitting kits for you today and let's find out which might be the best one for you beginner knitter or for a child grandchild friend somebody you know who wants to learn to knit we'll take a look at what's in these babies i paid for all three of these kits with my own money they're not sponsored at all so i guarantee you these are 100 percent completely open and honest reviews i owe nothing to nobody <laughs> i haven't even opened these yet so this is pretty exciting <laughs> i absolutely love knitting kits absolutely love them and at some point somebody gets their first knitting kit so I'm very curious to take a look at these as an experienced knitter. I've been knitting for 40 odd years. I'm very curious to have a look at these and see which one might be the most valuable and the pros and cons of each of them uh, to help you out if you're looking for a kit for yourself or you're teaching someone else. First, let's look at this. This is from We Are Knitters. This is a very popular online knitting shop and they have a hashtag we are knitters on the back i selected the mini chew mini <laughs> mini chewing gum sweater cute little baby sweater which i thought was pretty ambitious for an absolute beginner pattern so we'll take a look in here and see if this is actually something that an absolute beginner could do First of all, I like the packaging. I like that this comes in a tall kind of paper bag. It's pretty cool. And obviously it's going to be recyclable. So that's nice. It says right on the bottom, reuse this paper bag to keep your knitting projects, your yarns or whatever you want. So you could actually just keep everything in here, use it as a project bag, use it for yarn storage. All kinds of fun stuff. I think it's a great idea. So let's open it up and see what's inside, shall we? I think this is so cool. First thing I see, needles. <laughs> Warning, amazing knitting needles inside. <laughs> That's pretty fun. That's pretty fun. I'd be pretty excited about that if I were getting this. Let's see what these needles are like. Oh, these are pretty nice. Okay, so we've got long straight needles. They are stamped with We Are Knitters on them, right there. And they're molded into the head so they won't break off. They're wood of some kind, very smooth, and they have relatively pointy tips. I like these. I'm impressed so far with the needles. Now, the yarn. Whack! We Are Knitters. <laughs> Okay, this yarn feels very nice. It's called the Mary Paca. It's 80% superwash merino wool and 20% baby alpaca wool. It's 100 grams and 153 yards of yarn. Look at that in this very pretty periwinkle blue color. I quite like that. It's very pretty. So there's one, two, three, three balls of lovely yarn. Okay, anything else in here? What else have we got? We have an envelope and otherwise it's empty. So let's put that down there. And the envelope, please, it's in here. In here we have three things. Anything else? Okay, more paper, light uh, branded, we are knitters. Put that down there. We have some We Are Knitters sewing needles. Okay, so for weaving in ends, possibly there's a bit of sewing in here. From the picture in the front, it looks like maybe you need to sew on some sleeves. There is a We Are Knitters label to sew on your delightful finished project when you're done. Very cute, 100% natural fibers, proudly handmade by myself. I like that a lot. And then we have stickers. There's a sheet of stickers. Now, my question is, where's the pattern? 
where are the instructions? What's a person supposed to do with this kit now? All right, we are knitters. How do I get this pattern? The pattern is supposed to be in there and it is not. What? <laughs> okay, good start. All right, well, interesting. I'm now gonna have to go and look up the pattern because I'm assuming it's going to be online somewhere and see if I can get it so I can finish this review. The tools so far, the yarn and the tools are very good, but without a pattern, I don't know if they're giving people uh, new knitters proper information. So we'll just put that aside for now and I'm gonna go and look it up and come back. I did some searching and I could not find the mini chewing gum sweater pattern anywhere, not on their site, not anywhere. It seems that it only comes with the kit, <laughs> except it didn't come with this one. <laughs> However, I did find in the email when they confirmed my order, a link to a learn the basics package. It's a 26 page PDF document. I did not print it all, but I did print the first few pages just so you can get an idea of what it looks like. So it includes knitting and crochet basics, cast on, knit stitch, purl stitch, slip stitch, cast off, changing yarn balls. And I think there was even a bit of increasing and decreasing. The illustrations are pretty good. They seem very clear. Uh, I, I don't have time right now to read through them all, but it's not too bad. It's kind of a weird cast on method. I've never seen a cast on method like that before. They're actually using their fingers to put the yarn onto the needle in a very odd sort of way. Anyway, I wish I had the pattern so that I could check it out, but uh, I don't. So that's gonna take some marks off old We Are Knitters knitting kit here. Good supplies missing pattern. I'm going to have to email them, I guess, and assume they're going to send me a PDF for that. This We Are Knitters kit is the most expensive of the three that I purchased for this little review session. And it was the shipping included came to $110 Canadian, which is about $81.55 US at the moment. So that's quite a bit of money. Had I given this as a gift and the instructions weren't in it, I would have been very disappointed, even more disappointed than I am right now. So not overly impressed with that. We are knitters, but we'll see how they handle it when I email them. I'm always willing to give companies a chance to fix a mistake. Hi, Nicole from the future here. Just popping in to tell you that I did email We Are Knitters and within a day, they emailed me back apologizing profusely for their error and for my disappointment. And I have the mini chewing gum sweater pattern. I'll just quickly go through it and we'll talk about how I feel about this mini chewing gum sweater pattern. It comes in a bunch of languages. One, two, three, four, five. Five languages. I will look at the English language. <laughs> I could probably get by on the French a smidge. Un petit peu. Peut-être. I'm not doing that today. <laughs> so the long and the short of it is, um, you may recall I said something about I wasn't sure whether or not this uh, was too ambitious for a beginner not too ambitious for a beginner. The sweater is made up of four rectangles, two front and back rectangles, two sleevey rectangles, all in garter stitch, piece of cake, even for an absolute beginner. The pattern directs the user to tutorials for these. So you could use that learn the basics uh, printed document that I showed you earlier, or uh, there are links to get the video tutorials as well. So all good. Lots of assistance available, just not necessarily in this pattern itself. This particular pattern is only nine pages long. There's only a little bit of information on each page, which I'm okay with. Cast on your stitches, work this number of rows, bind off, sew it together. <laughs> That's about what you get here. Although I do like their diagrams 
here for sewing it up. I think those are really good, very clear for someone who has maybe never hand sewn anything in their life. I think this would be really helpful. So there we go. They came through and we are knitters and I can be friends again. <laughs> All right, back to the past, to your regularly scheduled programming. Next, let's look at this adorable little Santa's barn <laughs> box. Knit something nice from wool. It says right there, this is too cute. So I ordered this from the Knitting Loft in Canada, which is a yarn store in Toronto, Canada. This one was $50 Canadian with the shipping, so about $37 US. Hey, Nicole from the future again. <laughs> I just wanted to let you know, while we're talking about this Sandnes Barn beginner kit, that I discovered in doing my um, Googling and research, since I talked to you um, way back in the past there, that my local yarn store, Beehive Wool Shop, also carries this kit for $29.95 Canadian. I could have saved myself 20 bucks just by driving <laughs> down there <laughs> and buying it and coming back. So given that, this can be had for $30 and it can be used for kit by kids or adults or anybody. I think this is a pretty good deal for a beginner kit. I do recommend this, especially for those of you who are local and can just whiz bang down to Beehive and pick it up, okay? Um, I'm going now for good. Uh, back to the past with you. Bye. And so far, I'm really loving the little cardboard box. It's very cute. It's blue, so who can resist that? <laughs> and there's even a space to write somebody's name on it. There's some little printing down the side with some knit patterns and it says on this side from six years old. Okay, so we are really talking about a beginner's kit here. This could be a kit that would be appropriate to give to a child who wants to learn to knit. Well, let's open it up and have a look inside. And what have we got here? Let's take a look at the needles first. Okay, these look like pretty good needles. Sanna's Garn needles. And they are five millimeter. Oh, you know what? I didn't even look to see if, yeah, the We Are Knitters needles were also five millimeter. So uh, perhaps we're on something here. Oh, these are cute. Okay, these have a little heart at the top. They are metal and they come in a little sleeve. So here they are. They're shorter, they're metal and they have adorable little hearts at the top. Aww. How cute is that? That is pretty darn cute. If I were a little kid, and I am a little kid, <laughs> I would be happy to knit with these. <laughs> All right, so I'm good with the needles. I'm happy with the needles. They're gonna be noisy, but you know, for a beginner knitter, that doesn't really matter so much. I don't knit with aluminum I feel like aluminum to me are quite noisy but they will be sturdy which is good okay this yarn looks quite nice I really do like me some Sandals Garn yarn and we've got a lovely Nicole blue how could you resist that with some gray that's a very nice combo and this yarn is is 100% Norwegian wool 50 gram balls, 70 meters. So there's uh, 140 meters here. So there is actually a lot more yarn in the We Are Knitters kit that makes the baby sweater. This is only 100 grams worth of yarn here. But lovely yarn, nice and sticky yarn. I think this would be pretty good yarn for a beginner knitter. It's gonna be quite forgiving. Okay, what else do we have in the handy dandy box? Uh, nothing else except for an instruction book, which has two little children knitting on it. It's very cute. <laughs> it really is a cute book. And let's see, let's take a look at the instructions. 
First, you have to learn to cast on. Oh, there's a number of different projects you can make. You can make wrist warmers. Those are cute. That's an excellent beginner project. And okay, the cast on, they're doing like a loop over your thumb kind of cast on. How to create knit stitches. They can make a pencil case. Another cute project, although that would require sewing on buttons. So a little trickier. They also give the option of felting the item. So that's fun. And then casting off where you can make a headband. There's a cute headband. Okay, so this kit is clearly very much geared towards children. And six, eight, ten years old slippers. Okay, or you can make slippers. Okay, good. I like this. I like it. I like it. It's good. Even in two colors. So there's possibility of stripes. You can do it in, in two stripes. Yep. Okay. Or a little, little mini blanket. I, this is great. Okay. I think this is very well done. Very nice. I don't know if the amount of instructions that are in here are enough. They might be. It's, it's very succinct. <laughs> So it might be enough to get a child going. I may have to find a child <laughs> to give it to and I'll let you know how it goes. Okay, so I'm impressed for uh, 50 bucks Canadian. I think this is pretty good. It doesn't have any needles for sewing anything up. It doesn't have any other notions. So you just got the yarn, the how-to booklet, and the knitting needles. And sorry, when I say it doesn't have needles, it doesn't have darning needles or stickers <laughs> really it should have stickers i mean come on all kids should have stickers am i wrong <laughs> tell me i'm wrong <laughs> okay move along to this third kit i bought off the love crafts knitting website it says learn to knit right on the bag so clearly it comes with this project bag which i think is a great idea reusable let's take a look at what we've got in here so we have some very nice knitter's pride knitting needles now i like that a lot i very much like knitter's pride needles these are six millimeter needles so they are a little bit bigger again than the other two um can i get them out of here that's a question I really want to take them out and play with them. Okay, here we go. The Knitter's Pride Naturals. They are very nice. I like them a lot. They're wood. They're very smooth. They have a good tip and they'd be light. Yeah, excellent. These are excellent. I'm impressed with the needles. Let's take a look at the yarn, shall we? And we have here Valley Yarns. I enjoy myself some Valley Yarns. I have Knit with Valley Yarns. Superwash Bulky. Extra Fine Superwash Merino Wool. That's very nice for beginners. I am a strong believer in beginners using quality yarns. I appreciate the impulse to want to use a cheap or you know, like a dollar store yarn or something very cheap for your first project because you think, oh, I'm going to ruin it anyway. But here's the reality about knitting. You're not going to ruin anything. If you make a mistake, you just pull the needle out and you rip it back and you start over. You can do that as many times as you want, really. Uh, I have taught people who have ripped back their projects half a dozen times before they finally caught on. Same project, just ripped it back and started over, ripped it back and started over. Making mistakes is how you learn. Yarn is very forgiving. All knitters rip back their projects. All knitters frog. Here's the frog because ripping out is rip, rip it, rip it, rip it, right? Boing, boing, boing. So I'm sorry, I love my frog. So. It, you can use good yarn. It's a better experience. It's more inspiring. You're going to make something nicer. The knitting is going to go easier. Have I convinced you yet? <laughs> okay, yeah, I know. I'm on a rant. You can use good yarn. This is good yarn. I like it a lot. And it's a nice neutral gray. Anybody could like this. 
good, needles good, yarn good. So far so good. Ooh, look what else we have in here. Ah, we've got a lovely Knitter's Pride needle gauge. Now that's a handy dandy thing to put in a beginner's kit. I like that. I am definitely impressed with that. And we have some Susan Bates Bent Tip needles. I'm good with the needles. I'm not crazy about giving a bent tip needle to a beginner. I find them a little weird to work with, frankly. But I guess, you know, if it's the first needle you've ever picked up and it's what you're starting with, it's probably okay. There are probably people who love bent tip needles. I'm personally not a big fan. So the needles are, I mean, it's good that it included needles. They get points for that. A little iffy on whether or not bent tips are the right call for a beginner. Tell me in the comments if I'm wrong. I could be wrong. And here we are, Webb's Learn to Knit Handbook. Now this is very nice. Look at this. This is good. Good job, Webb's. There's Webb's. Okay. Webb's. I thought I, did I say I ordered this from Lovecraft's? <laughs> I swear I ordered this from Lovecraft's. <laughs> Maybe I ordered it from Webb's. <laughs> Hang on while I double check. I don't want to lie to you folks. Okay, this is interesting because I did order this from Lovecrafts, but it is branded with webs all over it. And Valley Yarns are by webs and it says webs down here. So curious, I may have to do a bit of digging into that. Anyway, it has no never mind to do with whether or not this is a good <laughs> learn to knit kit. So a little bit of promo info, what's in here. Oh, there's a link to a video tutorial. That's very good. I'm showing you the contents of the kit. That's good. I'm suggesting some essential knitting tools, which of course you can order from web. So this is a bit promotional, but that's fine. There is a pattern for a mistake stitch ribbed scarf, which includes knits and pearls. So that means right off the bat, they're suggesting that the knitter learns both the knit and purl stitch. Yeah, I I guess I'm okay with that. The, the photos are really good, very clear. There's instructions for doing the knit stitch, instructions for doing the purl stitch. They're very clear, easy to see. How to do ribbing, how to fix mistakes. There's a page on fixing mistakes. This is good. Okay. I'm quite impressed how to bind off and some additional patterns, some different textured knit and purl patterns for your next scarf and a very cute photo of the scarf that you could finish. All right. I think this Valley Yarns kit is going to get my top marks. I think, oh, did I tell you it was $54 Canadian with shipping? So about $40 US. I think that's a very good deal for two balls of very good yarn and some lovely Knitter's Pride needles and uh, darning needles and the stitch gauge. This is a really good set. The instruction book is thorough and good. I like that it comes with a fabric project bag that can be used over and over again. Overall, I'm highly impressed with this kit. This would probably be the best kit for an adult learner. I would say that this Santa's Barn kit from the Knitting Loft is an excellent kit for a child. It's definitely geared towards a child. Not to say that it wouldn't help an adult, but it's definitely designed to be a child's learn to knit kit. And we are knitters, well, you know what? <laughs> You're good at marketing. Um, I like your packaging. The yarn is beautiful. And I like that it came with stickers. You get bonus points for that. The needles were nice. I'm just disappointed that the pattern book wasn't in here. So I can't really evaluate it. It seems pretty ambitious to me that an absolute beginner, it is just garter stitch. So it's just knit. They're not expecting anyone to learn how to purl. But it does seem a bit ambitious to me to knit a sweater as a beginner project, but that's not to say it can't be done. 
I know there are knitters who knit a sweater as their very first project, and they say they did it because they just didn't know any better, <laughs> which is absolutely fine. You do whatever you can do. And I think probably just about any beginner knitter could knit that. I just think they might be a little intimidated by it and it might stop them from even starting. And what we really want, what we all want is more knitters. So we really want them to get started. Thanks for joining me for my first Nicole Knits Knit Picks review session. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. Let me know down below if you have thoughts about any of these kits or if you found this helpful. And I'd really appreciate a thumbs up if you like this content. And if you'd like to see more from me, you can hit that subscribe button and we'll see you for the next video. Bye.